I know it. I'm Mike Tarosian, and I'm here at the Hopkins High School Cafeteria for a very special night. Tonight is International Night. This is where all the international students and all the clubs come here and they show off their countries. They show the similarities and differences to the United States and their countries, and we get to taste some fine food. So why don't you come with me? We're going to go talk to some of the uh, international students, some of the clubs, and we're going to try out some of their food. All right, so I'm going to make a little visit to China right now. So over here, I see this lot display. What, what is your name? My name is Zach Wayne. Okay. And you're from where? I'm from Shenzhen, China. Okay. And you're over here, and what are you displaying for us here? So here I make this. I like this. It's uh, a kind of tradi traditional Chinese food, the Chinese fried rice. So I, me and my host family actually helped me to make this. Okay. And we just bring this here. Like, a lot of people just take it. We have this much dishes. Just now. Okay, actually, yeah. a few more over there we can make it work. What? I said there's a few more we can maybe work it. So, uh, so you're gonna show off. Uh, are you gonna be doing a presentation later? Yeah, I'm doing a presentation later about like the culture and history on China and actually it's a normal like student life. You know, like a typical day where I was in a Chinese high school. So I will do that presentation like later, like 6:30, 6:40 something. I love my job. This is great. All right, so I'm taking a little trip to Italy right now. And uh, what's your name? Uh, no. No? And who's with you? Uh, I'm Mateo. with Matteo. Hello. Yeah. And what are you showing off for us today? Well, this is a pasta la matriciana that is a typical tomato sauce pasta with pancetta. Yeah. Here we have a different kind of pasta. We have ham, cream, and mozzarella. Uh -huh. This is a typical plate from like the middle Italy. And then we have some bruschetta, bruschetta. right? With bruschetta. mozzarella and tomatoes. Very good. And garlic as well. Oh. And then we have two whole cups of tiramisu. We have a lot of tiramisu, yeah. And a famous dessert from the north of Italy. Yep. That's great. Yes. All right, so you show this off. Uh, will you be doing presentations later? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're going to present pasta, Italian pasta. All the it's different all... kind of pasta. Okay, and are you going to show off the similarities between America and Italy? Well, it isn't like American pasta is really good. Actually, it's really bad, and you shouldn't eat it. You should just eat Italian pasta. So we're not going to talk no, about American pasta. are two different things. Italian pasta and American pasta are two different things. So, yeah. Okay. We're going to explain the difference. All right. So can I try some of this? Sure. All right. I'm, gonna, I'm going in. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the difference is. Yeah, you can hold that for me while I try. All right, that's good. One. Wait, do you want this as well? I'll try a little of that, too. One. Try a little of that. This is why I don't eat dinner before I come here. Do you like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was meant for this job. Yep. Oh, I bet you were. That's very tasty. I like that. It is. Is, it there is. A, is there a name to that dish? Which one? This one or that no, one? the other one. The other one, well, I would call it... Uh, macaroni... No, there isn't really a name. No, I don't know. <laughs> Let's call them macaron, macaron, yeah. homemade macaroni. <laughs> macaroni of the students. Because Talks. you can make it with like it's really easy to make, and you just make it with things that you have in the fridge, and you don't know what right. to do. All right, my next stop is all the way over to Brazil, and this is one of my favorite, favorite pieces that they have to try. I just care about the food, but with me today is Gustavo. Gustavo, you're from Brazil. Yeah. Whereabouts? São Paulo. São Paulo. So. You've been here how long? Uh, since August. Since August, okay. Yeah. Now, what are you showing off for us today? Brigadeiros. Brigadeiros, and I love brigadeiros. Tell everyone at home what they're made of. Uh, they got butter, condensed milk, chocolate butter, and chocolate sprinkles. It is just it just melts in your mouth. They're fantastic. So, uh, what are you gonna be? Are you gonna be doing a presentation afterwards? Yeah. And yeah, what's in the presentation? Oh, uh, just say whatever comes to my head. You're going to be comparing the difference between America and Brazil? Yeah, I'll just speak from heart. 
Speak from God, okay. All right, you gotta let me try one of these things. Yeah, All go right. get him. All right, here we go. Everyone see this? This is just, this is just pure magic. They're just amazing. Here I go, I'm going in. Come on. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. Outstanding. Did, did, now, did you make these? Uh, yeah. You did? Yeah. All right. You nailed it. Brazil's one of my favorite places to visit because they always have this every year. True. That's great. Outstanding. Good job, guys. We'll Thank see. You. We'll look forward to your presentation later. From the nice warm beaches of Brazil, we are now on our way to the Arctic, to the Nordic, all the way to Norway. And with me now is... Perny. Julie. And you guys are from Norway? Are you from the same area or what? No, we live on the different sides. Different sides, yes. okay. So you got East Coast, West Coast kind of? Yes. Okay, yeah. gotcha. All right, I get that. All right, so today, International Night, what are you showing off for us from your country? Um, we're, We have waffles with us. It's it's not like a Norwegian food, but it's just a traditional food that we make a lot. Okay. Especially during winter, like at our cabin after a long day out skiing or whatever. It's very popular to just make waffles and. And I see it kind of spread with it. What's what's the spread? Hmm? What what is the uh, little jam that's with it? It's just raspberry jam. The the waffles is very sweet already, so. Instead of like putting sh sh sugar or syrup, we do jam. And okay. we also made a poster uh, with pictures from Norway. So yeah. we'll get it. we'll get those. So uh, we be uh, doing a presentation later. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, what is your biggest uh, difference between America and, and Norway that you see? What, what do you find that's the biggest difference? And what's the maybe even the closest similarities? Maybe. Maybe the schools because in Norway we don't have like sports and the clubs and like in the school it's okay. like outside so yeah. What do you find? What do you find different? What's your big difference? I uh, I agree. It's the school and like the sports and like the school spirit. It's okay. very different. All right, I'll see it. All right, so you gotta let me try some of you. Did, now, did you guys make the waffles yourself? Yes. You did. Okay. So do I get to try one? Of course. It's my favorite part. All right, let's serve me up. Here you so go. yeah, so just serve. So I've never been a skier or anything like that, and I hate winter sports, especially where I plowed for 20-something years for the town. So, But they say this is what you want to have after out there playing in the snow, so I've got to go try it out. Yeah. Right, so let's, see. let's see how they did. All right. Yeah. I can see that energizing me after being tied out there skiing downhill across country. I can do that. All right, let's head off to the next country. I don't know where I'm going yet. Uh, so first off, what's your name? Antonia. All right, and uh, can you tell us about your table here? Oh, well, it has four things to stand on. This is a table. And we have ham and cheese that is a really nice plate from Chile. You can eat it as an appetizer or as a salad, you know? And we have some crackers with a uh, Chilean thing called manjar. It's really good. It's kind of like caramel, but it's also made of milk and not sugar, so it's really good. All right, so now I'm with the uh, co-advisors of the Ambassadors Club. So tonight, big night here tonight. Yeah. It's our biggest night of the year. Uh, our students worked really hard, all of our international students as well as our ambassador students who get assigned. They, they pick different countries to work with to help set up, to help make the food, make the posters, and just make sure that the presentations are all set to go. So it's a lot of work on the students and every year they just blow us away. Excellent. And uh, who, who helps coordinate all the food? You know, they come up with the recipes themselves. I'm sure they're, you know, family recipes that they bring from home and the uh, students I'm sure with the host families help make them and bring everything and get their ingredients lists together for us and put on a great meal. Yeah. So now this is their big night. So what, what goes on for the rest of the year? I mean, it's only January. We still got to go to June. Right. So we're halfway through the year at this point, halfway through the school year. And, and up to this point, we've already done some trips as a club. We took them apple picking. We went ice skating. Uh, they had a Friendsgiving event. So just kind of things that are typical to Hopkinton, to Massachusetts, to student life here, showing our international students what it's like. So for the rest of the year, we have a couple of things planned. Um, you know, probably gonna go to an arcade at some point. We got that, you know, Excellent. option bowling, things like sure. that, the weather's poor. Uh, and then at the end of the year, we might do some kind of, you know, outdoor games, teach them some things, but there's a lot left to come. We end with a big pool party at the end of the year before they all leave uh, to say goodbye, so. 
All right, sorry, Lyon, I went back for a little more. Well, that's International Night here at the high school. For HCAM News, I'm Mike Tarosia. You can check out the Hopkinton High School International Night presentations at our website, hcam.tv.